So I saw your first video, but I don't understand what happens when I have an open circle or a closed circle. What do I do? I'm glad you asked. It's your girl Tiffany from Tiffany's Tutor and Consulting LLC. Back again, again, I'm going to guide you through your education streets. So to answer this question, and this is a question I used to get a lot when I was in the classroom with students is, what about the closed and open circles? I get the arrows, but what about those? So let's go ahead and check this out. So if you go back to my last video, it'll give you information on how to find domain and range. Just a quick review. We're going to use our vertical line to find our domain and our horizontal line to find our range. So let's look at this first um, graph here. So if you keep going, you can see at the beginning, it doesn't start anywhere, right? This is the ending circle. So I know I'm going to have to start at negative four. And then I'm going to, as I keep going, I have that arrow again. So that means that goes on to infinity for my X values. So we're going to use interval notation this time to document our domain and range. So we started at four. You see how that circle is closed. It's a closed circle. So just like when you were in middle school, um, you learned about closed and open circles with inequality. So a closed circle would mean that it would be a bracket okay a bracket and be at negative four then it's we're going to put a comma there for interval notation then we're going to go to positive infinity now infinity positive and negative are always going to be parentheses because again it never ends so that is interval notation for a domain okay range again our horizontal line we're going to start here we see that it goes all the way down to negative infinity on the y direction and we keep going up here oh here we go it stopped at y equals two remember horizontal lines are like y equals two y equals three and so on and so forth so again it stopped here at y equals two so my range is going to be again using interval notation negative infinity and then it stopped at two bracket because it's a closed circle so if it's a closed circle you want to use brackets for closed circles so you want brackets are going to be closed circles okay parentheses are going to be open circles because i mean it doesn't include that specific point but it includes all the other points around it but not that point so again bracket is closed circle parentheses open circle all right so let's go to our next graph we see here again we starting we're starting left to right we have that arrow for a domain it's going from negative infinity and then it stops at three but is that an open or closed circle looks like it's open so again in our interval notation what we're going to do is we're going to start at negative infinity again parentheses and then we're going to go to three with parentheses because it's an open circle okay range you already know horizontal line i'm going to start at the bottom and again remember my arrow indicates that i'm going to be going to from negative infinity in the y direction and then i stop all the way up at 16 about 16 up to 16. so again i can see that my range is going to be from also negative infinity and then it's going to stop at 16 with an open circle okay open circle all right you're done you've done great up to this point go ahead and try it on your own pause the video and see if you can get the third graph on your own all right now that you've had time to look at it on your own let's go ahead and look at our graph and i'm just going to bring this to the front so we can see our line over it there we go all right so we're going to start with domain again our vertical line there's nothing here nothing here oh i get to negative three and that's a closed circle but i'm going to keep going oh i keep going i see down here at negative two i stop but i have a little bit more and then i go to one okay so let's see if you got this one right this was a little tricky but I have a bracket here for negative three, and then I go all the way to one parentheses because it's an open circle. So hopefully you got that one correct. Let's go ahead with our vertical line, start at the bottom. Again, nothing, and I don't see any arrows, so I got to wait until I see a part of the graph. Oh, here we go at two. Let's move up. I see here again at one, I'm going, I'm going, and I stop at four. So let's see if you got this one right. You can give yourself a drum roll and see that is a bracket at negative two and then an open circle at four. So this is just a quick second video to domain and range on coordinate plane. Hope this helped you. If you have any other ideas or suggestions that you want me to do video videos on, holler at me in the comments. All right, y'all. Peace.